Hello everyone, and welcome back to Power Wash Simulator. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you, I was actually kinda pissed after the episode from last night. Be because, um, cleaning the fire helicopter actually is the last level of the game right now. But there's, there's like updates coming out, so it's, this isn't the end of Power Wash Simulator forever. Unless the update doesn't come out, in which that would be awkward, but... This will be the last episode of Power Wash Simulator for right now. Because, you know, there's going to be updates coming out soon. Maybe next month or so. And the last level is, for right now, is clean the fire helicopter. Now, before I begin, I want to say that I, in my first attempt to record this, um, I wanted to point out that the challenges of, clean, uh, you know, the challenges of cleaning things with in, in as few time or with cleaning objects with as little time as possible or as little water as possible aren't really my forte but i'm probably gonna try to like maybe do some time challenges on vehicles and not and not buildings mostly because you know i just don't want to spend another hour on something just to show off something again the the challenge of using as little water as possible i don't know how i don't know how to feel about that but i'll give it give it a go but before we do that, I need to revisit this level. Hey, uh, hey, F.A., we've got one heck of a dirty copter on our hands. Your buddy Cal got himself into a real spot of bother up on Mount Rushless. Poor guy was so delirious from volcanic fumes, he thought the mayor's hell hellish feline was up there with him. It's fine now, but the copter looks like something dug up from the bowels of the earth, which it nearly was. We've got TV crews arriving later, so if you can do what you do so well, it sure get us out of a jam. Thanks again, pal. Oh, um, speaking of, uh, updates. Man. I found out why I can't get the professional duty washer. Apparently that's going to be coming out, maybe... If not in the next update, then sometime in the future. Wait. I think they've got plans for cleaning some uh, boats and stuff. Anyways, also earlier I was in oh, I was enjoying a nice lunch of a club uh, of a club sandwich, and I had a thought: What if the power washer was used to clean dishes? Like, what if it was used to clean dishes? That'd be pretty funny. Also, for some reason. The audio really kind of glitches out here, and I don't know why. Also, also, I found out just how kind of painful this copter is to actually clean. Because there are so many tight spaces here that you could, that you could fit a piece of, you know, you could fit a, fit a uh, pipe cleaner through it and come out with a nice, big, fat layer of dust and dirt. That's how tight some of these spaces are, so... But you know what? I'm determined. I'm very determined. Also, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but when I when I looked back at the treehouse episodes, it turns out my mic was not muted that entire time. I think it might have just happened when my mom texted me to turn off my light, which is why it had to get so dark. But given that you could generally still see, see my face, I didn't really mind it all that much. I, I don't I don't know why I suddenly like Okay. The biggest I now when I say the biggest issue I have with this game, I don't mean with the game. I mean the biggest issue personally with me when playing the game is I can never really focus on one thing at a time. It's got to be some kind of miracle when I do. Because, um, you know, it, it, it's just like really, really difficult to, do, to you know, 
actually focus. But you know what? That's all about the change, because I have infinite amounts of metal cleaner, and it'll make this job go by a lot faster. I actually bought out almost all the other cleaners, because there's nothing else to spend my money on. So, in future levels, I may have an easier time. I feel like with the amount of level uh, with the amount of levels I've been through, the timing has never been more perfect for me to have really figured out how this game works. Certain washer certain washers or ore nozzles are for certain things, and there's certain cleaners to to make certain cleaning jobs easier. Now, I've decided that you probably might have already noticed, but I don't want to include any, uh, I don't want to include any, like, specific thumbnails for Power Wash Simulator, because if there's still going to be levels coming out, then just making a, a, an amount of thumbnail copies for the amount, you know, amount of episodes I've made would just be silly. Plus... It'll be, an, it'll be an adventure of whether you see something clean, or whether I see something clean or something dirty in a thumbnail. And even then, it's not, it's not just about it being clean at the end that matters, but uh, the journey of cleaning it. That's why I like this game so much, because this game pays, this game has attention to detail on pretty much everything. This game, uh, uh... As funny as it is to say, I'd say this game is pretty damn polished. And I find that funny coming from- I find that funny saying that about a game that you make sure everything is, everything looks polished. But, the thing I love about this game is, there's attention to detail on everything. So, you, you have to really work to clean up tight spaces. You have to really, you know, you have to really get everything all nice and spiffy and clean. And every other no every nozzle does something different. The power washers themselves, they make using certain nozzles easier. There's like a lot of different ways you can really play the game, but there's really only one way you're supposed to play the game. And I find that pretty nice and refreshing and unique. It's like, hey, if you want to use a if you want to use a very thin nozzle, like this one, no, this one. To, uh, to clean everything, then you do you, but, you know, eventually you're going to want to have a wider reach with the nozzle. And the fact that they include washer, the washer liquids to, like, clean certain materials a lot faster with the sprayer, I like it. At first I thought the sprayer was pretty much useless, but now I find that it's actually really useful as long as you're using the right material with it, or right material cleaner with it. I also kind of just woke up, so my, you know, my words are kind of bleh. But, this game is fantastic. It's no wonder that it got a friggin', um, you know, overwhelmingly positive rating. I just, I just love it. Now, the next game that's gonna come out after this is gonna be Astroneer, but... I don't know, maybe, maybe I'll, uh... Upload that in between Power Wash Simulator, maybe not. But um, I do know that I pretty much got a lot of Power Washers, Power Wash Simulator episodes at the at the ready. So you know. But let me just say that this game definitely is one of my favorites. Even if one day it stops receiving updates, that's not gonna mean I'm gonna stop loving the game because you know. In order to love a game, it has to be something great that you can really appeal to, or really appears, appeals to you. And this game has most certainly appealed to me. Like, let me just get that out there right now. This game definitely has appealed to me. I'm someone who loves to clean things. I mean, hell, every time my parents are out for more than several hours, 
I usually wind up vacuuming the floors upstairs and downstairs. Not just because uh, not just because it feels good to vacuum, but because it feels nice to surprise them with such a clean and pleasant looking house. That and our cats like to roll around the carpet all the time and get cat hairs all over everything, so you know. I mean, recently I've I've been vacuuming so much that my stepdad even my stepdad even got uh, a new vacuum for downstairs. It's it, it's stronger than the one we previously had, and he gave me the previous the one we previously used to me. So you know, you put in you put in some effort, you get worthy rewards. And this game, the reward is a is monetary gain. The better you clean something, the more money you get, of course. Like, that's, that's not really rocket science. But what really makes it feel refreshing is what you can spend the money on. I have, thir I have three different power washers, although I feel more powerful when I'm using this one. But, you know, that's like a personal preference of mine. Not everyone has to play the, play the same way, but, you know, it's just, it's just a thing I like to do. I'll be honest, I may never be good at making thumbnails for much of anything. I mean, I haven't for several I haven't I haven't for several years because you know, most people pay pay uh, most people pay people help helping them out to make good thumbnails. I'm pretty sure. Well, because I don't have the money because uh, I don't really have the way of payment to do that. I just you know, I just decide that it's not fair if I try to ask someone to make a thumbnail and not be able to pay them for it, so I can live without thumbnails. Plus, it's actually kind of fun seeing what kind of thumbnails actually might end up being randomly chosen. Some of them might even show key moments of the video that I've come to find really funny. I know you're probably thinking, well, that's not really a way to be a professional YouTuber. Well. It's not, I, I'm not trying to become a professional YouTuber, I'm just doing this for the fun. That's why, I, that's why I've always decided I never want to be monetized. Not to mention, I found out that um, I, my videos would require over a thousand views per video to even get a decent amount of money, or even a bit, and we all know that my videos don't exactly hit the high numbers. But you know what, that's okay, because some of my videos appeal to many, some other, some of my other videos appeal to some, and well, in the in the past, some have appealed to no one. But you know what? That's that's okay, because that's their preference. I don't know how many people do the do. I don't know how many people still do YouTube videos for fun, and not just for the money. But I'm not saying doing it for the money is wrong. It's just that doing it for the money can put limitations on you know what you can do. If I, if I had if I had to do this for monetization, of course I'd I'm pretty sure I would probably have to stop cursing because you know YouTube demonetizes that kind of stuff. But you know, I guess what I'm trying to say is everyone can make their own YouTube video in their own way. But you know, crap! I lost my train of thought. I I had something going. Everyone can make their own video in their own way, but that doesn't mean that the that doesn't mean the way everyone does that doesn't mean the way a lot of people do one. Okay, that doesn't mean that when a lot of people do a video one way, that everyone has to jump on that bandwagon. You're not required to be like everyone else. You just have to be you. That's something we all can appreciate.
There we go. So, yeah, like... I, on, I really do love the work that I do. I, I really do. Sure, some of it can get kind of frustrating when things like large video files come up and everything, but... You know what? It's entirely okay. And by large video files, I mean... I don't, I don't know, I don't know if I told you guys about this, but I should probably tell you now. When I record a game, uh, when I record, like, high quality, high graphic games like this one, um, even half an hour of video footage can usually end up coming out to, like, I don't know, 45 gigabytes. And then I have to wait to export those videos to make room for more. But, you know, it, it's not really that much of an issue because it gives me time to do other things to the side. And as long as um, the video editor's exporting uh, exporting thing doesn't take up too much CPU from other games, I'm completely fine with it. All right, metal. And uh, as for my Gmod videos, also a uh, side note: this episode, since this episode is the last level for now, it's going to be longer, which is going to cut. Like I said, it's going to come at a risk of bigger video file size. But you know what? I don't care. I don't. I don't mind. Um. What was, what was I saying? Oh yeah, uh, my G, my uh, Gmon videos. I think it's worth noting that uh, the Gmon videos, like the like the two I previously uploaded, they definitely do take time to edit. And the the, the C four and Watermelon War video definitely had less edits than the first one, but that's partly because of two reasons. One. Um, I didn't include a, uh, I didn't, I didn't include a, a kill tally. And two, I'm, I'm still kind of new to figuring out what proper music and sound effects go with the situation. Adding sound effects is definitely not as easy a task as you might think. Especially for someone new to it like me. But you know, I still try my hardest because I, I definitely still try my hardest because I want to, I want to. I want to like be, become as uh, familiar with it as most people would be. Even if even if the video isn't entirely perfect, I think what still matters is the, it's the heart. I, the heart I put into it. Because because uh, I know that I know that there's people out there who still remember that. YouTube videos aren't just for the money. They're apart they're about making the content that you yourself want to make. People have said that because YouTube was getting like really really strict with the uh, you know the monetary rules and like and and everything. This was like maybe like a year or a year or so ago. And I think maybe people are still saying this now but YouTube used to allow creators to make whatever they wanted and with all the recent, you know, new monetization rules and everything and kind of strict policies, it feels like people are being limited. I don't really feel that way because, you know, I'm not I'm not one of the big wig YouTubers. And if big wig is a uh, offensive term, I apologize. I I never really thought it would be one if it is. So let me rephrase. If one of the I'm not one, like one of the bigger popular YouTubers. Sure, I do have over a thousand subscribers, and yes, that did take me a while. But you know, I don't. Re I don't really like. I just have fun with my videos. I don't really like try to force anything. And knowing, and you guys probably know me well enough to think that I've probably done something like that in the past, trying to force it. And I don't really. Rem I honestly don't really remember it, but. If I have, then by then, I've, I've really, I figured out that, you know, 
It's about having fun and not trying to do everything just for views. I do things to, I do these videos, to, you know, to entertain people, not just solely for the views. Wow, it's already, it's already 67% cleaned. Already over halfway there. Whoa, it's over halfway there. Whoa, choppers in the air. Honestly, I just kind of had that rant just like really let you all know that you know, things kind of change and people do things a certain way for a reason. Which uh honestly does remind me that there is something you all should know. And Honestly, it's my fault for not putting this in this little tidbit of information in its own video, but for those of you watching this, I'll still I'll still say it here. I've decided that I'm no longer going to be doing the Accomplishment Archives project, and there's there's quite a few reasons for it. The first reason is when I looked over how much how many uh, hours of footage all the uh, all the achievements I did would add up to it added up to over 10 hours of footage and No matter which way you look at it. I would still try I would still end up uh, trying to work on over 10 hours of footage whether I did it bit by bit or all at once and I realized something that I didn't really think much about how many how many uh how many hours over 530 individual achievement clips would get me. Now, I'm going to be real with you guys. I, uh, I, ha I have already deleted the files, and this was like something I started back in November of 2020. And over time, my interest in the project had faded. Now, this isn't anyone's fault but mine. Because I didn't think much about how, uh, how much I could keep up my interest. But recently, I found a lot of new games to play, and not only that, but I'd slowly been losing interest in the uh, in the project entirely. And I'll be honest, it it did kind of hurt to think that all that time I spent trying to you know get all those achievements was really all for naught. But it w actually no, it wasn't entirely for naught because. I got to revisit some. I got to revisit some games that you know hadn't really played in a while, and it inspired me to like really play them again. Like every, it all started with Amnesia: The Dark Descent. You know, it it all started with that, and then it went to Bendy and the Ink Machine, and then you know it it went all over the place, and. I'll be honest, it does hurt that I had to remove those files and all those fun times could never be shared with the world. But you know, I also realized that people make videos of these achievements all the time, so what exactly was I proving trying to show all this off? I also think that that actually was an instance of me, you know, just, I feel like that may have ended up looking like an instance of me trying to get views, which again, I only do videos for fun. Because a part of me was like, hey, wouldn't it be so impressive if I made a video showing all the achievements I could catch up on? No, it wouldn't, because, you know, people get achievements all the time. It's not like it's a very rare occurrence. And, well, I'll be honest. I realized, so there's quite a couple reasons I didn't want to do this. The first being that, of course, hang on. The first being that of <clears throat> the first reason being that all the video footage added up to a total of over 10 hours. 
and that was going to quickly get frustrating to work on and it was going to burn me out. So I figured, you know, oh my god, that's trippy. Oh my god, that's trippy. But, you know, I figured that, um, if I tried to work on that, eventually, sooner or later, it was going to burn me out entirely. And I figured it was better for me to cut my losses and just try not to force this upon myself. Otherwise, I'd, I would just be unhappy. So, yeah, the first reason being that it was over 10 hours long and I didn't want to work on it. Well, you know, after consideration. The second reason being that... Now, this one isn't really as important, but it was kind of, it kind of correlated to a personal um, thing that can affect me. It was it was over 70 gigabytes large, and I'm the kind of person who really likes to save space when it comes to uh, you know, I'm the, I'm the kind of person who really likes to save space when it comes to hard drives and everything. I mean, hell, um, the friggin' uh. The videos for the, the big file videos for games like this one, they're not really that big of a deal to me because when I export them, when I export them from uh, Mob AVI Video Editor, they're a much smaller size, like one or two gigabytes, and they're still the same quality and everything. Of course, it's just that literally the only difference is uh. The FPS is now 60, and <clears throat> the, F the FPS is now 60, and the file, file size is smaller. I don't know why I'm having so much trouble talking. And with those being the only differences that I can tell, it's not uh, that kind of thing is not really a big deal to me. What is, though, is when there's a bunch of like junk files and everything that's taking up space that I could really use. And like I've I've un like I've uninstalled games that I know I probably wasn't going to be touching for a while, and I've and I've t and I've removed space that I really didn't want to have taken up by you know ra random junk files and everything. But recently, uh, my friend my friend Zippy and I had been considering uh, playing Prop Hunt, and he pointed out that a, a lot of the maps use files and assets or mostly assets from games like Team Fortress Two and. Uh, you know, Left 4 Dead and Half Life and all and uh, you know Counter Strike Source. And I took a look at how big Team Fortress 2 would be, and it was a whopping 22 gigabytes. Now, the only reason I had an issue with this is because I I had not yet uploaded the Power Washer Simulator episode yet. And knowing this, I realized, so, uh, actually, before I continue that, I should point out that I did clear up, like, 20 gigabytes of space from games and files I wasn't really using at the time. So, I was kind of pissed off when I looked at this, the file size of Team Fortress 2 to find that there was a chance it would end up taking up, like, 22 gigabytes. And I didn't really try to install it to see if that's how much it would take, because, you know, it was kind of a 50-50 chance it did or or it would or wouldn't. But I decided, you know what? Once I upload the episodes of, uh, you know, once I upload the episodes of fucking uh, Power Washer Simulator, since I would clear up like 65 gigabytes of space, I'll install it. I will install Team Fortress 2 and whatever else. I'm really, I'll admit, I'm, I can be pretty stingy when it comes to saving space, and perhaps maybe even unreasonably so, but like I said, it's kind of a personal thing of mine, and I just, I just didn't want to feel like I uh, was taking up space before the time I actually needed to, if that makes any sense. It probably doesn't, but that's probably because it's like more of a, it's more of how my own mindset understands it. Don't get me wrong, I will still, um... Eventually I will un I will put in Team Fortress 2 and whatever else is needed for the assets. Because, you know, trying to get them from online could be very risky. But, 
knowing how much space it was taking up, I thought, okay, so what I need to do is I just need to see, I just need to like upload some video files, make a lot of space, and everything will be fine. And if I've ever said that things I, things get busy and complicated before in my videos, this is exactly what I mean. Like, this is pretty much exactly what I mean. Things can get pretty damn hectic. But, you know, I, I try my best to work through it. I really do try my best to work through it. I like making people smile. I, I love recording videos. It's just that sometimes it can get kind of difficult when there's things that kind of threaten to get in the way. I mean, hell, um, the add-ons I have for Gmod take up like six gig, uh, like six gigabytes, and there's like another four in there somewhere that take up some kind of space. But I can get very, very stingy about saving space. But not to the point of, uh, okay, maybe it might get to the point of an unreasonable thought process, but I usually try to work around it to, you know, make sure everything works out. There we go. I guess this episode has mostly been uh, me trying to get everything off my chest. <laughs> it does feel good though. So like... <laughs> There's a lot of games I have planned for the future. This is very true. There's some games... There's some games that have not come out yet, like... Or some games or DLCs, like... Uh, Dark Deception Chapter 4, Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe Edition, um, Cuphead The Delicious Last Course. There's, there's quite a few games that I'm really looking forward to playing. Trying to properly balance it with uh, saving space and everything can just make it kind of hard. And the, the reason that there's a saving space issue in the first place is because it all... It all you know, it all ties back to the quality of my computer. Of my computer, it'll take it'll take well over a year, perhaps at most, to be able to save up for a new computer. So, FBX Game Recorder is my solution to that problem of recording higher quality games that would lag with programs like o like OBS. FBX Game Recorder records games at a, at a high quality and everything. At the cost, of, at the cost of saving, you know, at the cost of space, and um, this isn't really that big of an issue as long as I don't really overwhelm myself. But even if I have to, even if I have to really wait while videos export, I always have things I can do in the meantime. Sometimes it gets kind of hectic and tricksy; other times it does not. But I know that most of the time I can usually manage it. I, kn I know I've been ranting this entire time, but there's just quite a lot I wanted to get out. There, there, there really was. Some... I guess it's because sometimes I feel like when I end up announcing something that I can't really promise on, it's already been a mistake for me to do so when I can't really, like, promise it. So, I, I end up thinking, have I set people's expectations on to me now? 
chances are, yes, maybe I have. And that's my own doing. But you know, nobody, nobody's perfect. Nobody is perfect. People make mistakes, and that's perfectly fine and understandable. It's just that you have to be careful with those mistakes. You're not a bad person when you make a mistake. It's just that you have to learn how to avoid making that same mistake in the future. Ooh, I feel that nice, uh... I feel that nice weight off my chest. <laughs> You, you, you know what's funny? In the past, I've said that it probably would have ended up being a while before I touched games like Celeste or Baldi's Basics. Oh, sorry, not Baldi's Basics. Uh, I, I was actually thinking about that game, because I know that Baldi's Basics Plus is on Steam. And uh, I recently looked at it yesterday to, like, see what was going on with it. But no, games like Celeste and Astroneer and all that, I said I probably would never touch for a while. And then, like, within a week later, my mind was like, hey... But what if? What if you went back to play it? And off I went to play it. I'm at least working through the games that have been put off for a while. And when I go back to them, I realize maybe this really is what I needed to do all this time. So in my own kind of way, I'm working through the plans and issues that I may run into. As long as I don't overwhelm myself, I'll be just fine. There we go. Hydraulic control unit is clean. Ah, oh, yes, I forgot to clean that side. Also, um... Something else I should bring up, because I don't remember if I brought this up before, but... You know, I'm probably gonna end up. I'm probably gonna end up titling this uh, the last uh, and something like the last level plus getting more st last level plus getting more stuff off my chest. Just so, just so I can mark that this is an episode that's more about that's about more than just cleaning a helicopter. But something else I wanted to bring up was the fact that until I uh, until I do something about it myself. I can no longer play Minecraft on the PC. And the reason for this is because back in 2013, um, my mom was actually the one that bought Minecraft for, uh, for my sister and I. It was about, I think it was like back in August of 2013. And, well, let's just say that, uh, <laughs> well now, well, this year, the email that my mom used to buy it has actually died. And because of that, I can no longer log into my Minecraft. I can still play it on the PS4 and everything. And honestly, I know that in the past I said that I was going to like cover all the different maps I found. I think the reason why I was why I didn't go back to it was because those maps were kind of a kind of a fill in for you know while I was trying to get other stuff done. And I got things done a lot faster than I anticipated, so 
all I could really do was just the Toy Story PS4 map. And I do feel bad. I do feel bad that I may have let, I may have led some of you guys on. These things like this things like this I don't mean to do. And one half of me feels really bad about it because you know, I put up a poll about it and everything. But then again, I guess most polls are about what one thing stands out and what other things don't. And the other half of me is like, well, if I don't cover the map, then people can be surprised about what they find. And there honestly are quite a bit, there honestly is quite a bit of things I end up feeling pretty damn bad about. And I know some of you will tell me that I really shouldn't feel bad because, you know, you know, it's my own decision. And you're, you're definitely right about that. But, you know, it's just... It's just kind of... It just feels kind of tough for me. I'm not gonna... I'm not really going to... I'm not really gonna go into why, but... I I ended up, like... I ended up grow, uh, growing up with... Well... As I, as I grew up... I... I, I, I honestly don't really know if I should say it, but let's just let's just say that it's not because of my parents. It, it's that, <clears throat> it's not because of my parents, but I grew up being led to think that I couldn't say no without feeling bad about it. And I'm I'm working to overcome that. I'm I'm working to overcome changing my mind about things without feeling bad about it. It's just kind of hard for me, but I'm slowly working through it. It's not fun. It's not fun when you know you're vulnerable enough to be manipulated into thinking, "Oh, you can't say th like, oh, you can't feel bad without saying no." I'm sure I I'm no, I'm not sure. I know I'm not the only one who feels this way, but can I can I pick that up? I know I'm not the only one who feels this way. But it definitely doesn't mean that the feeling is any less pleasant. Or any less painful, sorry. I mix things up there. There we go. Alright, what else is missing? Engine mount. I really like this feature, by the way. How I, how you can select an object to clean, and it and it points out where it is. The the only tricky part is actually finding it. There we go. Now to clean the engine. That's one engine clean. Now to clean the other. I'm probably definitely going to need the ladder for that. Oh, wait, never mind. I can just reach it from here. You know, I honestly do feel bad and kind of annoyed that I had that I had to replay this in free play mode when the FBX crashed because free play mode doesn't show the text messages and everything. All right, what else is left? 
landing gears. That's right, that's right. I'm probably gonna have to do the little, uh, challenges in a separate episode. I'm probably gonna do, I'm probably, you know, I'm probably gonna do one, uh, time cleaning challenge and one, uh, water cleaning challenge on the, uh, on the van. You know, the, you know, the very first thing that I, uh, ever cleaned in this game. Where is that, where is that smudge? Where in the world is that smudge? Is it... I'm, I'm going to turn on shadow so I can see if it's actually there. That works. Very underside. There we go. Rotor blades, window, hydraulic piping. Which one is missing? Hmm? Which one have I... this one. There we go. Window and hydraulic piping. Which hydraulic piping would that be? That one. There we go. Now for the window. Which one is it? That one. Yeah! Flawless again. You're a class act, F.A. As it happens, when the TV crews and senators found out we'd only rescued Cal and not the cat, they were uh, and not the cat. They were a no-show. Still, at least the copter will be nice and clean to go back to Columbus. Thanks again. You're welcome here anytime. And if you ever fancy adding an element of danger to your host work, let me know. I'll put the word in. Talking about using, you talking about using a firefighter? Using a, talking about fighting fires? Alright, until next time everyone, in the next little bonus episode for now of uh, Power Wash Simulator, we are going to check out the challenge mode. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you want more content in the future, subscribe to my channel and hit that bell, and I'll see you next time.